Hello, welcome to my second vlog narrating in English from my vacation in Moscow and in the outskirts of Moscow this summer 2024. This is what my kids are doing at the dacha, kind of this is what my dad allowed them to do. They learn new skills and this is our traditional lunch. So we have a chicken soup, which my mom cooks. There is uh, some pasta with chicken. We usually eat a salad from tomatoes and cucumbers. There is some corn. Yeah, and that's actually flowers from our territory at the Dacha. Summer in Russia is pretty warm. It can be up to 25, 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, some days can be very hot. So we have some table tennis outside and kids learn how to play tennis. This year we also have a basketball hoop. So this uh, keeps kids uh, very busy. And you can see my dad kind of teaching kids how to play. And here we're starting more vlogging from Moscow. Today we go to the circus and you will see more of the kind of traditional Moscow life. Before the circus, we go to Shokoladnitsa Cafe, which is a chain cafe in Moscow. This is our little lunch, uh, some pasta and pelmeni for kids. We took some salads. The menu is organized on iPads, so you can have a feeling of what we eat. And I really like this place. So here we are in the circus, the new show will start. We go here every year because every year the show is different. And you can see people are gathering before the show. It smells like kind of a caramel popcorn. There is a lot of different food. So feel the atmosphere of the circus. This circus is called Circus on Svetnoy Boulevard. It's the central, most traditional classical circus, which is super famous. And uh, you can have here all kinds of snacks, ice cream, pirashki, you can come here even, you know, being hungry and you will absolutely survive. So we are waiting for a performance, which is called Matryoshka. Check out this Matryoshka in the middle of the stage. You know, this is the traditional Russian doll. <laughs> So we went out of the circus, it was a great show, we really, really liked it. By the time we went out of the circus, it actually became suddenly very hot. Uh, this change of weather in Moscow can be very big in, in summertime, so we just uh, walking, checking out the streets. We like to check out the streets because there are a lot of also different cars, which we don't see in America. There are a lot of uh, cool Chinese cars. And overall, the streets are very clean. This is a different area. The central Niglina Street, we're just enjoying walking, looking at the people. Um, it's a weekend, so there are a lot of people just walking outside. The center of the city is very walkable, so you can actually walk big distances from one area to another one through boulevard, so it's nice. So now we're situated actually near Tsum, like a central department store. It's a beautiful building, and here to the left you can see the street which is called Kuznetsky Most. Uh, we were nicely pleased to see this new kind of a flower uh, bed, this big flower decoration. This is all new. It wasn't here last year, so they made uh, this incredible kind of landscape and uh, gardener work here. So for the summer, it looks really nice and cool. <laughs> I just left the beauty salon where I did uh, one LPG treatment for the body, it's like a vacuum massage. And so the first uh, treatment in Moscow in this salon was 1000 rubles, which is a little more than $10. Oh my God, so this uh, treatment cost in LA approximately, I think $100. So 
To do 10 treatments, you can imagine how uh, much money I need in LA versus Moscow. And this is just every time very surprising how big is price difference and how affordable is beauty here in this country. It's obvious you still need to earn, you know, good salary. You need to work, you know, to provide these means for all these beauty treatments, but uh, still it's much more affordable. So I can only say to a Moscow White's lady that you're very lucky. You're very lucky because you have a lot of opportunities to be beautiful, to be well kept. And this is what I'm observing on the streets of Moscow. There are just so many of beautiful, accurate women of different ages. It's just nice to look at them. I you cannot see as many beautiful women, I think, seriously, in any other country of the world. Today we continue our walk through the new park Zaryadye, which was built a few years ago. One of my favorite parks in Moscow these days. You can see here very interesting landscape work. Uh, it's kind of an imitation of a wild uh, flowers, wild grass. The park is very big. Today it's Sunday around 11 a.m. So people are still kind of gathering. It's pretty early for walks. Temperature is around 20 degrees, so it's, it's very nice and fresh for the walk. Lovely day. This is actually newly built uh, kind of a stage for outdoor concerts. Very beautiful stage. Unfortunately, I haven't been here at any concert yet because I'm just very rarely in Moscow, but this is beautiful. This is very modern. And right now the park is getting ready for some kind of a summer festival. So they're preparing another stage. They're testing the music and it's gonna be some cool festival with a lot of concerts. Right now we will go to the top of the park. I really like this kind of a viewpoint. And the territories here is imitating kind of the Nordic nature of Russia with some stone, with some other grass. I really find this place kind of like the place of power. I really like to walk to this part of the park. Like, look what a beautiful view opens from here. I mean, I'm really happy they made a park out of this territory because there was a big discussion and some people told they will build some kind of prestigious real estate or maybe the hotel, but they left it as a park for Moscovites. And I think this was incredible project. Uh, it looks just better and better every year. And every year I'm in Moscow, I come to see this park. We made it to the kids' playground. I actually don't remember seeing this playground last year, but maybe it was already here. So it's very popular. As you can see, this is the playground built in kind of a wooden natural style. When I was living in Switzerland for one year and a half, I actually remember a lot of playgrounds like this made from wood with some kind of ropes. So that's pretty traditional. Uh, but this one is a newly built and uh, very creative. So kids like to hang out here. It's in the shade, it's very good. Look how beautiful and how everything is clean. I don't know how you cannot like it, for instance, because it's done with love and it's done with a lot of attention to kids. And we really appreciate this kids infrastructure in Moscow. Now we're going to the place which is called Media Center, located in the same Zaryadi Park. Uh, it's that cool building. And we're going to visit the interactive uh, show, which is called Flying Over Russia and Flying Over Moscow. There are two interactive kind of stations. They're very cool. We did it already last time. Unfortunately, I cannot film uh, this entertainment because it's prohibited. But uh, if you ever visit Moscow, I really recommend this to see. And now you can just check out, you know, lots of people hanging out outside. So let me show this building from inside it's very modern check out this interesting crazy ceiling here you can get tickets for these interactive shows flying over russia flying over moscow it's very popular it's happening every hour so get your tickets online in advance and there are more attractions here like time machine ice cave i didn't visit uh, everything but i think it should be interesting too so just uh, wanted to give idea what's happening inside I'd like to show you also these uh, cute uh, machines. These are kind of machines where you can get cotton candy, for instance. Then you can get here ice creams. So it's an ice cream machine and also some kind of snacks machine. Um, this is what they sell. So pretty much all the chocolate bars, uh, chips, uh, M&Ms, Twix. I'm sure you know most of the things. You can see the prices in Russian, 130 rubles, which is slightly more than $1, 250 rubles. 
which is slightly more than two dollars so this is how it looks you can find drinks and even the kind of kiosk with the robot who can do a lemonade for you it's another day just grabbed two pizzas for my kids this is called dodo pizza two relatively big pizzas so i paid for this 1280 rubles which is um, more than ten dollars let's say maybe like twelve dollars i don't know i don't remember the prices for pizza in the u.s but i think each pizza would cost at least ten dollars i believe so my simple explanation is kind of the salaries are much lower here but the prices are also lower and in the end the salaries are much higher but the prices are also much higher so there is no miracle there continuing with more food here because today we're having brunch again in the same park actually the brunch is only happening saturday and sunday it's so good the assortment of things of the russian european mostly russian food is amazing i will just show you it in a few seconds so this brunch at that time uh, cost 5,000 rubles per person for adult, uh, which was approximately $65 per person with that current rate. And so this is unlimited food. You can just uh, enjoy whatever you can see on this table, a lot of starters, a lot of you know hot dishes, a lot of dessert, the drinks, the alcohol is also included. Mm, uh, so this brunch takes place in the restaurant, which is called Vashot, which means sunrise. Uh, this restaurant is located always in the same central park i showed you and so many people when i posted this vlog in russian were asking me about this place because i guess even a lot of moscowites they don't know about this place because it's a very recent um, branch uh, but for anybody who plans to visit Moscow or, you know, be there for a few days, I really recommend to book this brunch Saturday, Sunday. It's definitely worth this price, um, you know, compared to many other countries, this price for everything which is included here is just completely nothing. And uh, I've been here already two or three times. It's amazing. It's amazing. The quality, the freshness, the freshness of the produce, the choices the service you have it's a very elegant restaurant so just enjoy for instance this is a dessert table this is a pasta which is called kartoshka potato we like it this is dessert pavlova there's some international dessert like cupcakes here uh, creme brulee this is a honey cake oh my god it's so delicious it's so delicious mini eclair uh, the bird's milk dessert, a lot of cookies, yeah, some very typical dessert for Moscow, Russia. This is some kind of jams, confiture, oh my god, so beautiful. I still remember this place with such great memories, it's amazing. And this is a very famous bridge outside the same park, it's a transparent bridge, kind of a flying bridge across the Moscow River panorama the view is wonderful it's a very well known very loved place by many tourists and russians people come to hang out here you can see there is like a huge lawn bench uh, it's a wonderful place to make pictures so just uh, see the people you know check out what's happening on the bridge I want to show you the school, kind of a random thing, but this is just the school located in my area, near my apartment, so, and this is a pretty traditional, this is a solid looking school, I mean, not all schools like this, but I kind of think that this school looks great, and it's interesting for me because it looks completely different from the schools where I live right now in California, because Californian schools are mostly like one, two story maximum, and they look like separate buildings, but because we have actually elementary, middle and high school uh, often in one building our schools are very big and because of the climate they're built with brick you know they're very solid and uh, i don't know it just looks very pleasant to my eye i think it's great and uh, if my kids were living here they would go to the school let's wrap it up here with my vlog let me know what you think in the comments hope you enjoyed this video my goal is to show you more school how it is how i see it and how the daily life looks right now thank you for watching and see you in my next video